Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Leo. <clears throat> Leo, this is your weekly reading for April the 25th to May 1st. Um, your oracle and what's crowning your energy for this week is mental, mental conflict. So Leo, you probably have um, a case of the blues because of some mental conflict. This is similar to like the Eight of Swords, something like that. Um, yeah, so I'll read it when I get to it. So your first card out was the seven, seven of wands in reverse. So Leo, this could be you. Um, this could be you giving up. This could be you letting down your guard. Um, yeah, this is either you, or you could be dealing with another fire sign. But um, this is like you giving up or letting down your guard. This could also be something that happened in the past. It don't have to be happening this week. It just could be telling me a story. But we'll see. Well, clarify the Seven of Wands was this. Uh, this is the Page of Cups. So this is Water Energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be news of a pregnancy. Um, an apology. This could be a child. Or this could be someone who is emotionally immature for their age. So when I asked for more information about the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords came out. So this is um, Air Energy, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, Leo, this could be you or somebody else. But something or someone is blocked. Something or someone doesn't have all the information. So somebody's not going to take action because... They don't know what to say or they don't they don't know what to think. Well, clarify the two of sources, the Queen of Pentacles. So this is Capricorn towards the Virgo. This Queen of Pentacles could be a person or like some type of status. This Queen of Pentacles could be somebody's wife, or this Queen of Pentacles is like status. Um, somebody who's very practical, stable, reliable, but in their feminine energy. So Leo, you could be dealing with another fire sign. And you could be giving up on this person. Like, this could be you. You giving up because somebody could be childish. Somebody childish. Emotional, emotionally stunted. Emotionally immature. Um, And what I'm getting, Leo, you didn't, know, you didn't know what else to do with this person. This could even be a child. This page of cups. And it's like you were stuck. You didn't know what to do. So all you could do as this queen of pentacles was be practical about the situation. And let this person go. Let it go. That's what I'm getting. Um, you, This could be a child. It don't have to be a child. But if it's not a, a child, if it's not a child, it's somebody in your energy um, that you just giving up on. Because they emotionally immature. This could be love. This could be romance or just life in general. Clarify the seven of wands in reverse. Ooh. Okay. Recognition, reward for merit, basket. Clarify the two of swords. Ooh. Okay. So, dog close up. Pleasure with the close friend. Quail or quail. Get back to the basics. So, Leo, we're going to see what's going on because when this card come out, um, to me, in this deck, this tea leaf deck, this is like karmic energy, getting back to the basics. And the basics is something low vibing. That's why that, that quell card, for whatever reason, for the majority of the time, that's karmic energy. And when it's saying get back to the basics, it's like somebody's getting back to karmic behavior. So, we're going to see two of swords. Is this Leo? No. Mm -mm. Queen of Pentacles. Is this Leo? Okay, yeah. Yep, Leo. I think that's what's going on. This seven of wands in reverse. Is this Leo? Yeah. Okay. So, Leo, you could be dealing with an air sign. But this person has been blocked. This person could have been trying to come up against you, but you got your back turned to this person. Um, this person could be blocked from interacting with you. 
Because it's like pleasure with a close friend getting back to the basics. So it's like this person wanted to interact with you, but they, they are a karmic to you. This person is a karmic to you. This could be in love or just in life. This could be in work. This could be involving family. But this person is blocked from you. They're blocked from having pleasure with you. This could be a friend. A karmic friend. And um, yeah, they're blocked from, from interacting with you, um, Leo. And um, hmm. I forgot. I just asked. Okay, yeah. So this is your energy. This is your energy. You seven of wands in reverse. You are no longer defending this person. You not with their games, their shenanigans, that low vibrant, that low vibrating, low vibing energy. You ain't with it. You letting it go. Um, and I think that's this person right here. Yeah, this person could be emotionally immature. Um, emotionally stunted. I'm getting you dealing with a karmic. This person is a karmic, and it doesn't have to be in romance, but it can. <clears throat> but that's what's going on. Leo, you're breaking away from a karmic connection. That's what's going on. You're breaking away from a karmic connection. And this person could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They can have water in their chart as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, but you giving up on them. And it's like, when you let this person go, you're going to get recognition and reward for merit. Because this could have been, like how they say, you lose by association. And when you was involved with this person, you had pleasure with a close friend. You was losing. Energetically. Um, it could have been literally. Uh practically you were losing out this person could have been trying to stop your 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 progress because when you let this person go you are going to get recognition and reward for merit whether this person was purposely blocking you or not because of energy them being who they are a karmic you having close pleasure with this person What's blocking you? So, Leo, and let me know this Queen of Pentacles is you. So, you can have um, Earth in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And you you got you got practical. You got in this earthly energy being very practical. And you're going to get recognition and reward for your merit. And I believe that this could be... It's like, as soon as you give up on this person and do the right thing, you're going to get recognition. It's like your blessings is going to come come forth because it's energy. I'm getting energy. And um, this person probably wasn't even purposely blocking you. It was just the, the, the truth. Their energy was blocking you. They're karmic. <clears throat> so when you let this go, you're going to get recognition and reward for merit. Um... What I'm getting is spirit is going to reward you. Spirit is immediately going to reward you for letting this person go. Whether you realize it or not, um, Leo, you're going to get rewarded. It can be from spirit or it can be like something of the earth, something practical. But you're going to get some type of recognition and reward for merit. And the merit, the work was letting this person go. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't easy for you to disconnect um, this connection. It wasn't easy for you, but you did it. And when it's done, Leo, you're going to be glad you did it because you're going to get recognition and reward for it. Yep. So I got to pause the recording because I got to find a book. Okay. So Leo, you got your, you got mental conflict. So you got the blues a little bit. <clears throat> And I'm getting this because you have to disconnect from a connection that you really didn't want to disconnect from, but you have to. You had to. So, it say, this card deals with the inability to move forward. As self-doubt emerges from indecisiveness or not being able to take action with the person, group, or even a situation in your present life. It may not be an easy decision 
<clears throat> decision, but you're are but you're already aware of this. Just remember that you have the strength, courage, and power to make all the necessary considerations. When you decide to act and finally make the choices that need to be made, then and only then will you will a resolution be forthcoming and with it a sense of mental relief. There's assistance out there for you. So seek out and listen to wise counsel to help you make the right decisions. Listen to your intuition and have faith in yourself. Peace and harmony will soon be yours. Mm -hmm. And I think the reward is peace and harmony. Part of your reward that you're going to get for letting this person go is peace and harmony. You're going to, you're going to obtain peace. Because the cards say peace and harmony will soon be yours. This person was blocking you. Whether they was doing it on purpose or not. This um page of cups right here. They was blocking you. From your peace and my, from your peace and harmony. This card deals with the inability to move forward as self-doubt emerges from indecisiveness or not being able to take action with a person, group, or even a situation in your present life. Yeah. It may not be an easy decision, but you're already aware of this. Yep. So that's what the blues is about in your mental conflict, Leo. Um, you have to let go of, some, of a person and it's a karmic and the karmic could be a person. It can be a lover. It could be a place. It could be a job. It could be a career. It could be a friend, a coworker, but Leo, you have a karmic around you that's blocking you and they're blocking your peace and harmony amongst other blessings that spirit want to give to you. So what clarified mental conflict was judgment. So, this major arcana for Scorpio, I believe. Scorpio and sometimes Aries. So, this is judgment. Um, Leo, this could be you and this energy. Like, you could be calling judgment on this person, you and this person connection. This could be you calling judgment, or this could be the universe calling judgment on the situation. This is either a person or the universe. But judgment is about Yes or no. Make it a final decision. Well, clarified judgment was the three of pentacles. So, um, this is more earth energy. Capricorn towards a Virgo. And um, this is some type of collaboration. This could also be co-parenting. This could also be like your hobbies, Leo. Um, career. If you are self-employed, this three of pentacles is like you and your clients. You're collaborating. Collaboration. When I asked for more information about mental conflict, the high priestess came out. So the high priestess is, um, what is the high priestess? I think that's Pisces or Cancer. The high priestess is Pisces or Cancer. It's either one of them. I can't remember right now. But this could be letting me know. There could be secrets. Leo, somebody could be keeping a secret from you or you're keeping secrets. Leo, this could be you, your intuition. You could be very intuitive. Or somebody needs more information. Well, clarified the high priestess was the eight of pentacles. So this could definitely, definitely be involved in work. Leo, this is involving your work. This eight of pentacles is work. Your career. Um, Cause you the queen of pentacles right here. So this you Leo. And um, this person could be causing you drama concerning your work or your op occupation. This person could be causing you drama in secret concerning your work and occupation. Clarify judgment. Ooh. Oh my God. So, March came out. March. So, something happened in the month of March, whether it was the March, the month of March that just passed, or it could have been years ago, March. Clear, or this is could be March coming up. But we'll see. Clarify the high priestess. 
clarify the high priestess. Yeah, time to go out and have fun. Time to go out and have fun. Um, let's see. This high priestess, is this Leo? Ooh. Darn it. Okay, so the high priestess, is this Leo? This high priestess, is this Leo? Yeah. Um, what I'm thinking, what I think going on, Leo, somebody, this person is in your energy this week, this page of cups. They want to go out and have fun with you. But I'm getting, it's for a reason. And it could be something to do you harm. It could be to do you harm. This harm could be mentally, spiritually, physically, or emotionally. And it's like, Leo, you intuitive. You intuitive about going out and having fun with this person. Because at the bottom, we got pleasure with a close friend. And it let, the cards let me know that this person has been blocked from interacting with you. So, Leo, you blocked this person. Either you blocked them or spirit blocked them. The universe could have blocked this person. But it's like somebody calling you and want to get up with you, chill out. But you intuitive about why they want to go out and have fun with you. And um, what I'm getting, Leo... <clears throat> They want to, this person want to just destroy your reputation concerning your eight pentacles, your work, all your efforts and hard work and your labor, this eight pentacles, because what could be going on, say like Leo, if you're a business owner or you're the supervisor, this person, what they're doing probably behind your back is what y'all do when y'all get off work. This person... So, for example, Leo, say like you a manager and this page of cups is in, is like work under you. And it's like when y'all get off work, you and this person could be close, close friends. And it's like when y'all get off work, y'all could be smoking weed, getting high. Y'all doing certain things together. And this person, what they could probably have planned against you is to probably like record you. Like y'all could be chilling and this person is going to try to do something against you. But they're going to put you in like a social setting to do it. Time to go out and have fun. That's what I'm getting this person. So, Leo, if you're doing something illegal around people or certain people, you got to be careful this week. Because this person might try to set you up. Because you intuitive about your eight of pentacles. Um, something like that is going on. This person could probably come to your job, your place of work and approach you about an offer, but it's inappropriate. I'm getting something is inappropriate. And this person is trying to catch you up because they don't, this person don't want you to have this reward and recognition for merit. They don't want you to have that. So just be careful, Leo, because that's what's going on. That's what's going on. But you're going to block them. You're going to block them. If you don't do it literally, Leo, the universe going to do it for you. That's what's going to happen. The universe is going to block this person from interacting with you. Mm-hmm. Or if they get you where they want you at, Leo, it's still not going to work out how they wanted it to. It's still not going to work out how this person wanted it to. But I'm getting that you're going to figure this out because you're going to give up on this person. You're going to let them go. You're not going to be seven of wands in the upright, defending this person, protecting this person, fighting for this person. You're going to let this person go so you can get recognition and reward for Mary. Yep. Um, so the month of March, is this past March? Is this past March? Yep. Um... Yeah. Leo, what happened in the past 
in the month of March. This person tried to do this to you in March. And then let me know it was a March in the other past. So I don't know. This could have been March of this year, like last month. Or this could have been years ago, the month of March. But it was concerning collaboration. This person tried to cause you to be under judgment. This person wanted to bring judgment upon you. They could have did it in the past. They could have su successfully done this against you. But you probably didn't know who it was. But you was under judgment in March. In the past March, you was under judgment because of your collaboration with something or someone. And it could have been this person, but you probably didn't know who did it. But you're going to figure it out this week or whenever this energy manifests. You're going to figure it out. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. And you have mental conflict and you got the blues, Leo, because you can't believe it. You can't believe it. This person was doing this against you. But you're you going to figure it out. Because you high priestess. That's intuitive. That's intuition. That's secret. That's knowledge. The keeper of the hidden knowledge. So it's like, Leo, you know. You just got to accept the truth. You know. You just got to accept it. And take appropriate action. And shut this person out your life. So I'm going to put an oracle on this energy, then I'm going to be done. This is Leo's weekly reading. April the 25th to May 1st. Give me an oracle for the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Page of Cups. Yeah, divine timing. Mm -hmm. Divine timing, the universe and spirit is going to step in. And they're going to like lead and guide you to let this person go. It's going to happen at the right time. You're going to have to let that person go. And it was divine timing. Perfect timing. Either you literally leaving this person or how you leave them. It was divine timing. It don't have to be the fact that you left, Leo. What I'm getting as well, it was how you did it that shut them down. You're going to shut them down because you high priestess. You and high priestess energy. And that high priestess is not no joke. <clears throat> not a joke. So this person thought you was a joke, Leo. But when you got in that high priestess energy, they're going to be done. And they're not going to know what happened. They two swords. This person is not going to know what happened. They two swords. So what I'm getting, Leo, whatever ditch they was digging for you, they're going to fall in it. They're going to fall in it. Give me an oracle for the two of swords and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, unawakened. Mm -hmm. You're going to leave this person right where they at. Because they trying to... This person was trying to finesse you, Leo. But they're not. Un, they're unawakened. This could have been a lover. This could be your divine masculine. But whoever this person is, they're not awakened. And they trying to play you. They trying to finesse you, Leo. And you high priestess. The high priestess sees all and know all. To a certain extent. Besides the higher front. And this person trying to finesse you. And they not even awaken. So. Yeah. That's what that's what was going on. And that's what happened. And that's what's going to happen. Give me an oracle for judgment in the three of pentacles. Yeah return. Return. Leo what I'm getting. In the past. You wanted this person to return to you. You gave them a second chance. They probably wanted to return and you 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 allowed them to come back in your life. Um, yeah. You either returned to this person, place, or thing, or they wanted to return to you and you allowed them to. You let them back into your, your, your space. Yeah. Because somebody wanted a second chance. Or you gave them a second chance in March. Past March. Yep. Give me an oracle for the high priestess and the eight of pentacles. So, Leo, if this is a business, this could have been an, an employee that you fired and they wanted to come back and work for you. And you let them come back in March. 
And you're going to have, have to let them go for good this week. Give me an oracle for high priestess and eight pentacles. Yeah, offer. Yeah, this person is going to make you an offer. They're going to make you an offer and you're going to reject them. They're going to get blocked. You, you're, This person is going to make you an offer because they want to go out and have fun with you. But it's to set you up in some type of way. So, Leo, even if you was doing something illegal, they want you to do it and they might record you or something. Something like that they trying to do, but it's not going to work. But you high priestess, you being intuitive about this person's offer and them wanting to go out and have fun with you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, that's what I have for you, Leo, for this week. Um, again, Leo, please keep in mind that um, this reading may or may not resonate with you. It may or may not be for you. Um, as well, time it is fluid. So um, this energy can manifest this week or it can manifest later down the line in time. So just keep that in mind that um, even though this is for your sign for Leo, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that this particular energy is for you. Um, because... The majority of YouTube readings are for the public. It's a general reading. It's a, it's for the public. So it doesn't, it's not a private reading for you personally. So it's not guaranteed that this energy is going to resonate with you. So again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Leo.